So I got the 278 here. I've been using it all day long. And I've been struggling big time with it. It's a brand new machine. Just uh, day before yesterday, I pulled it out of the box. And this is the only version that's been on this machine. And this is the only version that will stay on this machine if I want to keep it. Um, so I've been getting a lot of iron today. A lot of iron. Just rusty nails that sound really good. And I've, had, I've changed the modes. I've changed the frequencies. I've changed the... Uh, the iron audio, I've discriminated, I've notched, done everything. There's a piece of iron right there. Gary has his Simplex 268 version. He swept over it and it was a banging target. Jim swept over it with his MX-7 with his 7 inch coil on it and it's a banging target. I want that sound a lot better, man. I have zero discrimination. Park two mode. One, two, three, five bars gain. Uh, ground balance at 70s. It's like it's disc being discriminated out, right? It's a piece of iron right there on the surface. I want to be digging this stuff out, right? So I don't know what's up with this 278 that I got. It was working just fine the other day. Yesterday, I got a ring yesterday and uh, some relics and stuff, but I want to be digging this stuff out, man. If it's right on the surface like that, this should be banging it just like that 268 and just like that MX7. This should be very, very evident that this is on the surface here. And I have my iron audio set at two bars, zero discrimination. Uh, my frequency is right in the middle, like I usually keep it. And it's just. That should sound really good, okay? On my 268, those things sound really good because I want to be digging them up.